Right, so this is just a, a recap of what it was that I wanted you to do with this text uh, here, which is also found in the Mira book on page 197. So obviously you can use that book to, uh, to help you rather than have to go into the online books or, or anything like that. So all I wanted you to do with this text was to take each of these questions or uh, they, they start off as questions or they start off as statements in the second person. And all I wanted you to do here uh, was, and I'm not sure why that's come up, but it's better. So each of these statements, all I wanted you to do was to turn them into the first person because they start off in the second person. So they start off as you and I need you to put them into I instead, which is the first person. Of course, some of you might also like to uh, expand on your written paragraphs by writing these into the third person as well as the first person by, by making contrast. So instead of just saying, I have breakfast every day, you might then want to turn around and say, I have breakfast every day. I, I like um, a series of fruit, but my mum has breakfast um, almost every day and she prefers such and such. So, so that's what I want you to do. I'm just going to recap very quickly how it is that I expect you to do that. So we're just going to take this first one here, which is desayunas. Todos los días te gustan los cereales o la fruta con yogur, o casi todos los días, pero hay veces que no tienes hambre, o solo los fines de semana no tienes tiempo para desayunar entre semana. As a basic rule, what you're doing here is just changing the verbs from the second person into the first person. I'm going to use the first one as an example and visualize that. So here it says, desayunas todos los días. So first thing that I need to do is change the verb from desayunas, so it starts off looking like this, and I need to put that into the first person. Now, first, first of all, if I just take my Spanish dictionary, I'm going to check to see whether this is a regular or an irregular. So, so if I just go into this desayunar, where are we desayunar? Desayunar, and it says there that it's a verb 17. Verb 17, as you know, I'll just look there just, just in case you've forgotten. Verb 17 is indeed a regular AR verb. And if you look at this, these are the endings that, that we're looking for here. So we've got the present tense, we've got hablo in the first person, we've got hablas, habla, hablamos, hablis, and habla. So instead of it saying down here, desayunas, it needs to say desayuno. So I'm just going to change that ending like so. Go back into my text to check. So I'm going to say todos los días. So that's every day. Todos los días. Okay. Then the next part of the sentence it says te gustan los cereales o la fruta con yogur. Now, this is one of those strange verbs which works the other way around. So rather than it being you that like something, it's that this pleases you. So te gustan los cereales. This word gustan is actually okay because cereales is going to stay plural. What needs to change here is this reflexive pronoun, which is in here, which is te. And of course, reflexive pronoun uh, for I is me. So me gustan los cereales o la fruta. And there's your sentence. So that's all I need you to do. Just move on to the next one. Just have a quick think about that. So in un restaurante, or in actual fact, rather than that, I'll show you how you would compare somebody else. So instead of uh, instead of being you now, this is going to be about your mum. So we're going to say that mum only has breakfast at the weekend. So we're going to need statement C down here, and we're going to need to change this into the third person as well. Just as a reminder. If I go back into my dictionary, onto verb page, uh, onto, onto verb page 17, we notice that the third one down here, which is here, habla, is the third person. So that's, that's the one I'm going to use. But it's not going to be habla, it's going to be So here we go. Mi madre desayuna solo. Now you could say they will stand because she likes, but I'm going to use a different verb. So I'm going to use prefiere. Prefiere. So she prefers mm. 
and what can we say she prefers? She's going to prefer, um, she's going to prefer toast. So prefiere tostada con butter, which is flour. And that's how I want you to use this text to come up with these kind of sentences. Most of you, I'm sure, will want to work in the first person. This is all the first person here. And this bit here is the third person. Is she it? Okay? And that's what I'd like you to do.